This is going to cover how to create a quick polygon box modeled object that describes this character. This character will then be modified through sculpting in Blender and then brought back into Maya or whatever other application. This is a workflow to create a base mesh that kind of fits the idea of what you see your character as. It's okay if your character is a little more abstract, maybe it has a big head or tiny feet, wherever it is. The first goal is to get something that represents your character loosely, and then the next goal is to refine it. You'll be shown using Blender's sculpting tools that it'll be easy to inflate your character to make it more muscular or more lean or a bigger head pretty easily. This is a hand file and there'll be another video showing you how to make a hand through box modeling. This file will be available also for download so in case you want to skip how to make hand just want to do this tutorial quickly use this hand file. Being box modeling start with a box scaling this box up. I'll move this box around the center. You can also start by modeling the leg, mirroring it, and then using those two mirrors joined together to create the rest of the torso, whatever you think is a good workflow for you. I'm using the multi-cut tool to create some seams. Holding down the shift key constrains the multi-cut let's say around there and at least one for the side to start out with really I probably want two so let me go here and here next I'll start out by just pressing 3 key this is the shape that we're going to be using I'm growing the material upward selecting the vertices Going downward, again, right click, vertex, to select vertices. Maybe scaling them out a little bit, like this. Orbiting around, just to see how it's going. So, move these in. And the goal is just to create a very quick model based upon some placeholder character that you can refer to. So you could see the proportions and maybe get the knees and elbows in the right place. If you don't do it on this pass, maybe you'll be doing this when you're sculpting it out in Blender. Selecting this face up here. Instead of selecting all these faces, it's a great idea to go under symmetry and select a point of symmetry so you don't have to select everything twice. And I'll hold down the shift key instead of pressing the extrude button you can hold down the shift key and just lift it up and pulling on that axis also extrudes the object now that's in this suit of primitive armor like a 1950s robot you can start wrangling in the vertices to form the shape If the character sticks out a little bit, that's fine. There will be other refining steps in the next application. Now, when I'm pulling around the hips, too much is moving, and that's a good clue that it's time to put another cross section in. So now when this is selected around the hips and I drag it in, it's not moving the whole object inward. going to start looking at the dimensional aspect of this and if it's a little hard to see sometimes when working on the character maybe the arm gets in the way you can duplicate this using edit duplicate special flyout box using an instance of this object when you hit apply it creates a duplicate that's connected to the original That means if I select, let's say, this edge here, you can see it's selected over there, and it will pull off to this side. 
So this gives you kind of this cleaner way to look at your model and to work back and forth in between the two. Go ahead and push this inward. Maybe on this vertex here, a little inward as well. Should be here and here and here and here. Now, when I do this with symmetry on, it's going to give me a little too much happening here. So I'm going to turn off symmetry. I'll just select this leg and I'll extrude it downward like this. But what about the other side? You could now go back and extrude it, or we can use mirroring to just mirror one side to the other. Over. And now I'm going to turn back on symmetry. Going back to symmetry and selecting this as my base. A shortcut in Maya to select symmetry is Control Shift right click, go to symmetry, and choose this. And then you'll pick your point. But all those steps, I think it's a little quicker just to go here and click. Your choice, whatever works. Now that that's on, oh, here is where symmetry is not going to work out. So I will be doing mirroring. I'm going to delete this one. I'll recreate it in a moment. I'm going to select all the faces on this side. I'm going to turn off mirroring. And then select the faces on this side. Clean it up like this. And go under modeling, mesh mirror, and zoom out to drag these two closer together, like this. When they snap together, you're good to go. And hit the Edit Delete by Type History button, which is right here, or go under Edit Delete by Type History. Turn back on Symmetry. And then continue the workflow. I'm going to duplicate this to put it over the reference character. Edit Duplicate Special, Fly Out Box, Apply, and move it over. And the rest is just extruding up into the hand. So the video will pick up from that point. I'm going to pick up a moment to add in this hand. To do that, I need to extrude out an arm. And go to the face level, selecting the opening right there. And I delete the face to open it up. Okay, lift up this hand. And just move it into the area. After it's connected, I'm going to mirror this so the hand's on the other side so it doesn't have to be done twice. I'm going to press one key because this is the real view of the character, not that rounded view. Selecting both of these objects. Going to mesh combine. 
press the one key again. And then either on the vertex level or the edge level, which is the bridge, I'm going to wire this together. I think I'm going to use the bridge right now. Going to edge, selecting this edge and this edge, and clicking on the bridge tool. Edge to edge. Ah, I can see that there's going to be an edge missing. So before I go much further, let me undo a lot of this. And let me multi cut in the new edge right there. So this way, the number of sides of this hand matches the number of sides on the rest of the character. Select the vertex, lift that up a little, make it easier to find. Going back to the object mode, selecting both of these objects, mesh combine. Press the one key. Now there's matching up of the number of vertices between the two objects. If there wasn't, then we can just multi-cut along a local area to wire in that information. Going back to edge, selecting these two edges, bridge. These two, bridge again, which the shortcut is the G key to repeat the last tool. G. And we can still continue to fix this after mirroring. Or as long as the symmetry tool is used. Alright, to make this symmetrical, going to object level, going to select the faces here. Throw that half away. Make sure you get all the faces. Like that. Next, going selecting the object, going to mesh mirror. And then you need to drag it over and do so. Right now it's connected like this. Then turn on symmetry again. making sure to select the newly combined mesh and then just continue cleaning up and working.